In this video, we will show you about our new integration, HID. HID allows any keyboard sequence to be triggered by Flick. For example, if you're in a Zoom call and need to mute it, you can now trigger it with Flick. You can also use it as a Google Meets mute toggle, Zoom, Slack, a presentation clicker, a Counter-Strike auto buy, a record button for Logic Pro, or even a foot switch for JAMA, and so many more. Basically, any key or keyboard sequence can now be triggered by Flick. In order to set up a Flick as a keyboard trigger, we're going to have to do these easy steps by first connecting it to either an iOS or an Android and then connecting it to a PC or a MacBook. First, get a Flick 2 and connect it to your iOS device using the Flick app. If you already have a Flick connected to your phone, you can use that one. Once it's connected, select the trigger you want to use, for example, click. Scroll down to the bottom of all the possible actions and select Flick Universal, and then Keyboard Command. For Keyboard Button, we will select Keys, and then we will proceed to select all the keys it takes to mute a Zoom call on a Mac. Remember that there are different keyboard shortcuts depending on the program and the device you use, so look up the keyboard sequence you need before this. We will be toggling mute and unmute on Zoom on a Mac. So the keyboard sequence for this is Command, Shift, and A. When you're done selecting all the keys for the shortcut, at the top right, add the function. You may be prompted with a pop-up. Select Make Flick Universal. You can always revert Flick to do a normal function if needed, but we can talk about that later. Once it's saved, we will have to disconnect the button to connect it to our computer or Mac. Therefore, click Save and Disconnect. Once we saved and disconnect the action, we will connect it to our MacBook or PC. But first, we'll show you how to do the same setup on Android. Using Android to set up a universal button is basically the same process as iOS. Connect the Flick 2 to your phone and select the trigger, for example, click. In the Action menu, select Universal Actions, and then select Keyboard Command. For Keyboard Button, we will select Keys, and then select all the keys it takes to mute a Zoom call on a Mac. As mentioned before, remember that there are different keyboard shortcuts depending on the program and the device you use, so look up the keyboard sequence you need before this. We will be toggling Mute and Unmute on Zoom on a Mac. So the keyboard sequence is Command, Shift, and A. When you're done selecting all the keys you need, scroll to the bottom and select Save Action. And when prompted, click OK. Once the function is saved, click Save and Disconnect so we can connect it to a MacBook or PC. On your Mac, go to System Settings and then Bluetooth. Press the flick once, and it will show up as a device on the Bluetooth menu. And then click Connect. And that's it. If you'd rather set up your universal button to trigger mute and unmute on a PC, go to Computers Window Settings, and then select Devices. Once you're in Bluetooth and other devices, click on Add Bluetooth or Other Device. In the prompted menu, select Bluetooth. Then scroll down to find your flick. Select it, and then it's done. You can now trigger your keyboard sequence with flick. And there you have it. Easy. If you ever wish to reconfigure or change the keyboard sequence, simply tap the button in the flick app on your phone and then press and hold the physical flick until it reconnects. Then you can change the keyboard command as you want.